All right, back again. The statement reads, show that the energy of an ideal dipole P in an electric field E is given by U equal negative P dot E. All right, let's take a step back. Back in chapter two, when we discussed the work and energy in electrostatics, we found that the energy of a point Q was W equal QV, where V was the potential this potential had a reference point at infinity, and we know that at infinity, the potential goes to zero. This is only one of two cases, though. What if the reference point wasn't at infinity? Here, we'll see both cases. The first, however, is for the physical dipole, where negative Q is at R, and positive Q is at R plus D. So the energy is then plus Q times V of R plus D minus Q of V minus R. Just add them together and the minus sign keeps it together. Uh, once we factor out a Q from that, we see that we have a potential difference between V at R plus D and V at R. This potential difference had a definition with the electric field, and that's what we see in the next line. For an ideal dipole, however, the integral reduces to just E dot D because the two R points will cancel one another out. We can substitute this in, and we see that the energy is equal to Q times negative E dot D. This simplifies to negative Q E dot D. But note that in the dot product, the scalar can be moved around from vector to vector. So we take Q and put it on D. And what is QD? That's the electric dipole. Now substitute it in. Next, let's note that in the dot product, we are both commutative and dissociative, so therefore we can switch the P and the E in the dot product, and we get the expression that we want it, U equal negative P dot E. If, however, the reference point is an infinity, the result will still hold. As long as you bring the two charges in from the same point, R naught, or two points at the same potential, in which case the work or the energy is Q times V minus V naught. And we see here that substitute that in for the energy of the dipole, we have plus Q at V R plus D minus R naught and minus Q V R minus R naught and then the algebra solves. Note that the blue in both cases stays the same. 